Okay, let's jump right into this. So right click on your start menu and select disk management. That'll open up our disk management application. This is what it looks like here. Uh, disk 3 is our external USB hard drive. This is an M.2 drive inside of an enclosure with a uh, USB 3.2 type C connector cable. Okay, so that'll do a 10.2 or 10.3 gigabytes uh, per second uh, transfer rate. So fantastic, right? And we want this external drive to be as versatile as possible. Meaning if I plug it into my Android phone or into an iPhone or into uh, an Apple uh, or into a Windows computer, right? Uh, we want the drive to be read. We want at least the appropriate partition on the drive to be read. Uh, the good news is that uh, Windows can basically read all of these uh, partition types. Uh, FAT32 maximum capacity that we can format within Windows is 32 gigabytes, so 32 gigs. And uh, the benefit of that FAT32 is that when you plug your USB drive into your car, you can play music or videos right off of that drive in your car. The, you know, one of the partitions that we're going to implement or deploy is an XFAT partition, which can be read by Android, Windows, and Apple. So that's fantastic. Uh, and then the third partition will be NTFS, which is really optimized for Windows, although I do believe that now uh, the Mac OS can read NTFS formatted external drives. I could be wrong about that, but I think that they, they have that capability now. You know, why does, it, why does this matter, right? So just versatility. You know, you want to be able to take photos and videos and files off of your phone, throw them onto the external drive, and then, you know, you can use that as a backup. You can uh, put those onto your network storage device or onto your desktop PC if you want to. Now, if you get like a humongous uh, external drive, like an 8 terabyte or something, you can just keep everything on that. Same thing with your iPhone or your tablets. If you just run out of storage and you want to offload, uh, plugging in a USB hard drive is the fastest way to offload. So let's get started uh, in the disk management application. We're going to right click on our unallocated volume. Now, if it's a brand new hard drive, it might say that you first have to initialize the disk. So to initialize the disk, you just right click and say select initialize. And it'll ask you, do you want a master, an MBR master boot record, or do you want a GPT? Uh, select GPT okay, for the initialization of the disk and then you'll end up in this situation uh, that you see here where we have all the space of the drive unallocated then right click select new simple volume first we will make our 32 gig FAT32 partition so we're going to select 32 and three zeros 32,000 megabytes next we'll give it a drive letter of yeah I think you know maybe F is fine and we'll click next and we'll call this uh, we'll do fat 32 here uh, we'll use default allocation unit size uh, which is recommended for the fat 32 and the volume label uh, we'll just call this fat 32 drive and quick format that's fine we'll hit next and finish so now we have our fat 32 partition and now we can right click on our unallocated space over here and we can make our XFAT uh, partition and perhaps one terabyte should be sufficient. That's enough to transfer tremendous amount of videos and, and, and uh, photos from your um, uh, mobile devices, right? So we'll click new simple volume and one terabyte that is one million megabytes. So uh, one, two, three, one, two, three. We'll click next and we'll sign um, yeah, probably G is fine. Next, and we're going to select XFAT and we'll call this volume uh, XFAT drive. And then we'll hit next, finish. And so now we have that drive and now we can right click and select new simple volume on the remainder of our unallocated space and just take all of that space, hit next, drive letter of H, NTFS and we'll just call this NTFS drive and finish. Now if I plug this uh, external USB hard drive into any of my devices at least one of these partitions will become available. They are labeled so we know if we're dragging and dropping files into the different partitions 
what device can read the partition, right? So if we're, we're talking about hooking it up in your car, you're going to put those files on FAT32. If it's a Windows PC, NTFS. If it's any other type of device, uh, XFAT is usually probably where you want to put those files, right? So now we have the most flexible, versatile external USB hard drive for all kinds of different tasks. Absolutely fantastic. We have the Galaxy uh, S24 Ultra, this Android phone. I have connected the USB-C external uh, hard drive. And you can see here we have USB storage 1, 2, and 3. Storage 1 is our FAT32 partition on the hard drive. Storage 2 is the XFAT partition. And storage 3 is the NTFS partition. So the Android can read all three hard drive partitions. Now it does take a little bit longer for the NTFS uh, to read and to initialize because it's almost, you know, it's 2.85 terabytes in size, so it's very large. Now, uh, if you hook this up to your Apple device, the NTFS may work or it may not work. That's on Apple, right? It, it, if they're building in that compatibility, great. If not, you will definitely see uh, the FAT32 and the XFAT formatted uh, partitions, and you can very easily transfer all your photos and videos from your device to the external drive or vice versa very, very quickly. Uh, so it's absolutely, you know, uh, fantastic. Now, uh, extra bonus, right? Bonus. Uh, I will show you how we can do, uh, how we can do this, basically this same type of setup right here using disk part. So the command line, right? Because sometimes you might have difficulty or something trying to do it within the disk manager application and uh, disk part is native to Windows. It's pretty easy, pretty easy to use relatively. And uh, I think this will serve as a good video tutorial, but if in the future you ever, you know, need to know how to run certain commands in the disk part application, you can always use ChatGPT or Copilot uh, to help you out with that. So we'll open up the um, command prompt window CMD. We type in disk part or disk part.exe to launch the disk part application. And the very first thing you'll want to do is, is uh, type in list disk. This will list all the disks that you have, hard drives you have attached to your system. It'll also show thumb drives. And we can validate that disk 3 is actually the external USB drive. We can validate that by looking at this interface right here. We can see disk, that's disk 3, right? So let's say that I just want to just totally clean disk 3, right? So I can, I can type in um, select disk 3 and then I can just type in the word clean. Now, if you want to do a full format where you're writing zeros to every sector of that drive because like, maybe you want to sell it uh, or give it to somebody, right? Then you're going to type in clean all. That takes a long time because it writes zeros to every sector. If you want to do a quick clean, you just type in the word clean and that's going to clean that drive. Now, you can see in the background that disk three is now unallocated and not initialized. So uh, we want to initialize that drive. So to initialize the drive, we're going to type in convert GPT. Now the disk is online. It's still unallocated. So we want to set up our partitions and assign our drive letters. Type in select disk three to make sure for sure that we have disk three selected. And we want to uh, create partition primary size equals, um, we're going to do the 32,000, so we'll start off with our FAT32 to begin with, and we're going to click enter. Now um, we can type in list partitions, and uh, sorry, it's partition, list partition. We can see we have here partition 2. It has the asterisk, which indicates it's selected, but you can type in select partition 2 to make sure it's selected and we can type in format uh, FS equals fat 32 label equals we'll call this uh, fat 32 drive with the quotes got to put the quotes around it and quick so we'll do a quick format so it's going to format that partition and, and watch what happens in the background in the disk management application. You're going to see, we're going to see this come into fruition here. Okay. 
there's our FAT32 drive right there. Now, um, we can type in select disk 3, and we're going to go back to that step where we type in create um, partition primary size equals, um, this is the one terabyte XFAT, so that's a million megabytes. So one, one, two, three, one, two, three. Great, looks good. We're going to click on enter. And then we're going to say um, list partition. And we're going to select partition three. And then we're going to uh, type in format FS equals um, XFAT. I mean, we can just, you know, XFAT type in case sensitivity. I don't think it's there, right? Label equals, uh, what label do we want for that? Uh, we'll call it EXFAT drive, and we can type in quick uh, to do a quick format, and that looks good, so we will do that. Um, and then we can uh, format the remainder of the uh, unallocated space. What is the remainder of the unallocated space? Now, in the disk management application, you can just right-click and select, right? So that's the fastest way to do it. Right-click, um, select, new simple volume, next. This is our remainder of unallocated space right here. So we can copy that, and then we can say create partition primary size equals, okay, we're going to pop 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 that right in there hit enter select partition this is going to be partition I believe four and then we want to uh, format FS equals NTFS and we want to do label equals NTFS drive and quick okay great so now that's looking pretty good now we want to assign drive letters to these, right? So I can type in um, select disk 3, select partition. We can just scroll up and see it's partition uh, 2. So select partition 2, assign letter equals, um, we can do N. So now it has drive letter N. And select. Um, Partition 3, that's our XFAT drive. Assign letter equals um, M. Select partition 4. Assign letter equals, um, I don't know, let's do T. Okay, uh, so now we have all three drives so we can do this and, and, and you can you can actually write a batch script for this as well and you could have copilot or chat GPT write you a batch script that executes opens disk part and does all of this for you automatically so those are the different ways uh, that we can accomplish basically the same the same outcome right um, yeah